Action News Now Storm Tracker weather. Coverage you can count on. Well, high temperatures for the day are in and seasonally hot temperatures again around the North State this afternoon with high temperatures in the Valley, mainly for the middle 90s to about as up to 100 today in Redding. We're going to continue to cool things down. This is a little bit cooler than yesterday and we will continue that cooling trend. And by, by Friday and Saturday, we're looking at 80s for afternoon highs. No more 100s in the mountains, 80s and 90s for afternoon high temperatures today. So again, kind of hot out there. Although right now we're starting to deal with a few showers and thunderstorms in the higher elevations. Got some thunderstorms going on here, mainly in parts of Lassen County. He's trying to sneak northward into parts of uh, Modoc County at this hour. Also, a little closer up look here on the activity shows somewhat of a persistent little cluster of thunderstorms here uh, in far western Lassen County. It's towards, close towards uh, Beaver and New Beaver here, then a little bit further south. And then on the far southern side of the Warner Mountains, maybe a little south of them, got some thunderstorms going on in this area as well. These two little groups have been kind of hanging around here for a while. Good news is it looks like this lightning activity is being accompanied with rain. So hopefully that would wash out any kind of fires being started by the lightning out there. And hopefully, uh, hopefully that's the case up there. All right, as far as what we have going our way tomorrow in the Sacramento Valley, well, a little bit cooler out there. 8 o'clock in the morning. Boy, you're thinking about teeing it up. That's about perfect. 72 degrees. Boy, sign me up. Noontime around 86 degrees. So if you're delaying the tea time until then or so, still not going to get you too bad. 3 o'clock in the afternoon, little Arnold Palmer under the, uh, the canopy there. 90 degrees at that time. Beautiful weather for a little golfing, a little bike ride around town or so, as tomorrow should be a little bit cooler. Now, why is it going to be a little bit cooler? And why are we expecting 80s and 90s in our, or 80s in our forecast for the weekend? It's because of this storm system off the coastline. And you look at it, you go, boy, I, I need my glasses. I don't see anything out there. Well, let's take a look at the water vapor imagery. There it is right there, spinning off the Oregon coastline, not showing up on the infrared satellite image because it just doesn't really have any moisture. That's what the infrared satellite looks at. But it's certainly there, and it's going to weaken high pressure, and that's going to cool our temperatures down over the next few days. All right. Temperatures tomorrow, 86 in Mount Shasta City, low 90s elsewhere. Sierra and the Cascades will find highs mainly in the 80s for the day tomorrow. A beautiful uh, Thursday. On the ridge, middle and upper 80s coming your way here tomorrow. 88 in Paradise, lots of sunshine. Mostly clear on the north end of the valley tonight. Low temperatures in the 60s. Tomorrow is afternoon highs, middle and lower 90s. So we continue to cool things down. It's still warm but moving in the right direction. In the Mid-Valley, mostly clear tonight, low temperatures, middle and lower 60s. Tomorrow, low 90s and lots of sunshine. And finally, your Storm Tracker 7-day forecast with the weekend is always in view. Boy, Saturday, ugh, 83 degrees. That is a gorgeous day. And then a little bit warmer on Sunday. Redding's forecast, warm tomorrow. 80s Friday and Saturday, the skies turn partly cloudy and then heating back up as we get into next week. So uh, looking pretty good as we get into Friday and Saturday. Darn good, yeah. Thanks, Chris. Very good, thanks. The country's first underwater.